everyone to another episode of Mumbles. Today I'm here to bring you guys yet another game review. And the game that I'm reviewing for you today is a PlayStation 4 exclusive game. It's also a sports game. Can you guys guess what it is? Of course you can, because you guys are smart and you read the thumb news. No Mumbles! Thank you other Mumbles boys. Today we are reviewing MLB The Show 18. Now before I get into any of that, I do have to ask, if you haven't already, please do make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell, and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. My uh, username is the underscore mumbles underscore. Tweet me, maybe I'll tweet you back, you never know. So anyways guys, let's get into this game review. MLB The Show 18 is, can you guess, a baseball game. That's right, you guys are so smart, I love you, I love you, I love you. You guys, this is a baseball game that basically allows you to take control and play baseball. That simple. So there's not a lot to talk about in the overview of this thing. Uh, at this time I'm doing this review because this game is starting to pop up and go on sale and it's starting to get towards the end of the baseball season. So great time if you're, you know, you didn't want to pay full price. Great time to think about getting this game. So that's kind of why this review is coming out now. So with that in mind, let's jump into the meat and bones of this. First off, graphics. The graphics in this game you know, this is a baseball game, it's a PlayStation game, and you knew when you went to buy this game, the graphics were gonna look awesome and awe-inspired. And you won't be disappointed. The graphics in this game, whether it be looking at the stadium, looking at the fans in the stadium, looking at the players themselves, even your custom characters, you know, ones that you make, they look good enough to be real-life players in baseball. I am not kidding you. That This game looks that good. Now another thing that they added graphical wise is they did make it that if a jersey has like you know like different colors or different reflective different materials they made it that that actually shows so you can tell the difference between you know a different type of material and a different jersey you know maybe one's reflective maybe one's not so you can tell the difference between that and that's really cool. Now that we've seen the graphics let's talk about the soundtrack. This game is kind of a mismatch of all kinds of different music so or soundtrack wise, this game is just kind of whatever. It's a mismatch, mishmash of music. I, I won't lie, some of the songs in there, I was, you could find me bobbing my head to giving it a little dance, doing a dance, doing a dance, I'm doing it. And you know, just having a good old time with the song. And then some of them I was like, next? It, it's something else in here. So it just depends on what song comes up. Overall, looking at the soundtrack as a whole, not bad, not bad, not the greatest, but not bad. Now, as far as other sounds go, such as hitting the baseball with the bat or uh, catching a ball in the glove, those sounds are very crisp, very clean, very awesome. Sound, uh, sound effect wise, this game sounds awesome. Love it. Now let's talk about the controls. The controls in this game, I was really, really happy with the controls. And I'll tell you why. They basically in this game allow you to pick the control scheme that you like. So let's say in a previous game, you know, you used a meter pitching. You can do that in this game. They basically give you three different hitting styles and three different pitching styles that you can choose from and decide which one is right for you. So control wise, they kind of let you adapt everything to you, which is really cool. I really like that. And it just makes for a great little controlling game. Now as far as running and hitting and pitching and all that other stuff, controls are clean, controls are crisp, controls work awesome. So you don't have to worry about any of that, the controls are awesome. Now let's talk about the gameplay itself. Gameplay wise, the first thing I want to talk about is the difficulty. The difficulty in this game is really unique and I'll tell you why. In addition to having standard modes like legendary and you know, normal, easy, medium and hard, this game has something called dynamic difficulty. Basically, as you play this game, the game will increase the difficulty until you get to a point where that's your sweet spot. So you're not winning too many games, you're not losing too many games, you just have a great experience going. So the game, dynamic wise, in dynamic difficulty, it will change that difficulty to match your skills. I love that. 
They also allow for you to change the difficulty of pitching and hitting. So let's say you just want basic hitting, but you want that dynamic slider for your pitching. You can do that. Very easy, very simple to use. I love the difficulty settings in this game. Now why did I talk about this first? Because it ties into pitching and hitting and all that stuff. Pitching and hitting really depends on the difficulty. How the CPU pitches on, you know, easy mode isn't going to be the same the CPU pitches on hard mode. So it depends on your difficulty really, but overall I will say everything hitting and pitching with is very smooth, very clean, the computer doesn't cheat, and it just works very nice. So gameplay wise in that regard, you can expect a great experience. Now you notice I didn't mention anything about fielding. Fielding in this game I felt could have used a little touch up, I'll talk about that more in the con section, but let's just say that it is very easy when a ball is hit on the ground to not glove that thing and for it to roll right by you. And I've noticed it multiple occasions. So that is an issue, and I'll talk about that more in the con section, but that is not as smooth as other things in this game. Now let's talk about the gameplay modes in this game. Now gameplay mode wise in this game, you have your standard gameplay modes that you've come to know and love from MLB The Show 18. Basically you have Road to the Show, which is basically creating your own character, picking a position for him, and bringing him up through to the major leagues. And this is a really cool, uh, this is probably my favorite mode in the game. Uh, basically it lets you make the decision based on you know what you want to play as and all that other stuff. And it just lets you take that journey up to the majors. So very cool mode. But one thing they did different on this mode this year, as opposed to previous years, is instead of it giving you points based on, you know, oh, you scored two home runs, you get 10 under points, or whatever, how many ever points you get. This year, your improvement is based on how well you play. So let's say you do hit a home run. Well, then your power stat goes up. Let's say you hit a, you, hit, you do a contact swing and hit and get a base hit. Then your contact numbers go up. So this game really is based on how you play. So your character progresses based on how you play. In addition to this mode, there are a couple other modes. The first mode I want to talk about is Diamond Dynasty. Now this is those modes, and we've all seen them in Madden and every other kind of sports game, where basically you collect different cards, you can get legendary players, you can build a team, and play as that team. Now this game doesn't require you to spend real life money in order to get and play it. But if you want to get the best players and, and not have to you know, play for 30 to 40 hours in order to gain some points, then you are going to have to spend real life money on this section of the game. Now the final mode that I wanted to talk about is franchise mode. Basically franchise mode lets you take control of any team in the MLB and basically manage their day to day activities. So trading, signing players, releasing players, all that kind of stuff you manage as basically the GM of the team, general manager. Now they did take out season mode this year, which has a lot of people upset. This was basically franchise mode, but it allowed for more simplified controls. And that is something that uh, is kind of sad. Now in addition to that, there is also online play. And really the online play depends on the connection. If you have a good connection to someone, you can expect a relatively good gameplay experience. Bad connection? Maybe not so much. Now let's talk about the cons in this game. The first con that I have is, as I've stated, the fielding. I feel that the fielding could have used a little bit of polish and shine. Um, it's not horrible, it's just at times, you know, it's hard to bring in those ground balls and to bring in different balls. It's just hard. So fielding could have used a little polish. The second con I have is the repetitiveness of this game. I mean, you knew what you were buying when you got it. You were getting a baseball game. But this game is kind of the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So expect that. Now the final con that I have, and this is more of a personal one. I kind of wanted to see more newness in this game. The last MLB The Show game that I got was like MLB 13 or MLB 14. And honestly, I, haven't, I didn't see much difference between that game and this game. There's not a lot of new modes, there's not a lot of new things to do, just all kind of the same thing. And that's kind of disappointing. I'm wondering if it's maybe because MLB The Show doesn't really have any competition now, and if they're kind of just like, well, we're the major franchise. 
keep kicking those suckers out. So that is a little disappointing, but not anything that's game breaking. So with all that in mind, the only question left to ask is what is this game going to get on the Rumbles review? MLB The Show 18, without a doubt, you're a great game. You've got a lot of polish in you, you're a great baseball game, you give a great baseball experience. But I kind of feel like we got, we're getting robbed a little bit in as much as there's not a lot of newness here. I want to see something new and shiny and a new kind of game experience. Bring me something new. And I know there's only so many things you can do. But changing things or creating new things would be really cool. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But adding something new or spicing things up would be great. So with all that in mind, MLB The Show 18 is going to get a 7 out of 10 on a mobile review. Still a great game. If you're a baseball fan, you're going to love this game. And yeah, guys, that's my review of MLB The Show 18. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And this is going to be Mumble signing off. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.